together. Welcome to today's show of the human, the human project, your podcast for inspiring stories. I'm Corinna Rosa Falkenberg, and as you just have heard, there is a list of what my today's guest has accomplished that is apparently never ending. Welcome, welcome, my dear Ivan Martellato. Ivan Martellato. Martellato, è giusto, eh? È giustissimo. Thank you very much for inviting me here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so honored as my guest is from Italy. He's from Venice. Venice. Uh -huh. From Venezia. Oh, and now all those Magic pictures scene, come up yeah. of this beautiful Italian place. Italy without any tourists, right? Yeah, of mm. course. So, Ivan is a trained um, nutrition expert. He is a trained kinesiologist. He holds yeah. two masters in that. Ah, I, I passed the phone over yeah, the microphone. It? It's better because it's a lot of stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot. So yeah, I did a master in kinesiology in Italy, a master in nutrition. Then I went to California to do some specialization. One was about functional medicine and another was about peptide therapy. And uh, right now I'm giving lectures in a master of functional uh, nutrition, functional medicine in Italy too. So I keep on doing this. And then in the meantime, I do nutrition plans and something like that to heal people and manage the stressful life of this COVID period. Yeah. <laughs> and not just, not just this. <laughs> There is so much right now. Not just this. He's also a quite famous influencer on Instagram yeah. and a bodybuilder, right? Yeah, bodybuilder. Can you show it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so, getting so hot not here. This, I have this one. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow, it's really getting hot. <laughs> It's, it's, it's amazing, like this, okay. it's amazing. <laughs> and this is how I saw him the first time. It was after a restaurant visit and I had to make like, I had to touch and say, is this yeah, real? They are true, they are true, yeah. yeah it's they true. Are true. So tell me, Ivan, what does this require to have muscles as you do? Because like, we are real like, So for up. Yeah, for real, um, sorry if I interrupt you, oh, anyway. Go ahead. For real, in bodybuilding is 90% is genetics, of course. So at the beginning, it would be more easy if the genetic is, uh, is to you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing about that. And of course, it's easy. Nutrition, if you, if you don't have genetic, but also if you have genetics, it would be nutrition, workout, and of course, stress management. That it's probably most important thing, stress management, because sometimes if you eat well and if you work out very well, but your stress management is low, mm. for example, it's your job, you are not satisfied of your job, your family stress you, you don't have girlfriend that you would have, you, you, you would like to, uh, life is not really good and mm. it's difficult to build muscle and to have a good body if cortisol is too high. I think this is a very interesting point because I'm always wondering, I do have also some parts of my body where I just don't lose weight. And I'm asking myself, what is it? Because I really take care of my nutrition. I'm very sportive as well. And so you would say it's to reduce stress in your life. Yes, of course, because once that you have a lot of stress during your day, you, during mm -hmm. your, your daily life, you see, it's something biological. So when you're stressed, sometimes when you're stressed, you're stressed when you, you some, when it's a danger, when there is a danger, okay, in the environment. And for example, what about zebra? Zebra run, run away. They run away when they see danger. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> We can't run away yeah. because our stress is, is a different stress, yeah. okay? We stress uh, in, in our job, we stress because we have a lot of work to do, we stress because we are not able to stay in diet, it's stressful, we are not able. And when you stress, you produce cortisol. Why you produce that? Because when you're stressed, it's a danger. And with cortisol, you can free your glucose, your store of food for your muscle because you have to run. Run, 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 run. okay, you use energy. But if you are stuck, if you don't move because you're stressful for job or other stuff, you, yeah, mobilize this kind of energy, mm -hmm. but it stay stuck because you're not using that. And this kind of stuff make you insulin resistant. So it's difficult to use food, slower your metabolism and everything gets worse. Mm -hmm. It's everything about this. So this is mm -hmm. the problem. 
And that sounds very reasonable when you when you explain that what happened in the body then. Yeah, it's biology. It's, it's not biology. It's biology, but it's mm -hmm. physiology too. Mm -hmm. It's the problem of our society. In the case, it's more about Western society than Eastern society because this society meditate. It's for that the meditation is so good because meditating you lower your cortisol, you lower and lower your cortisol, and everything becomes more clear more normal and natural because when you have a lot of cortisol you don't understand you react and you act in a faster and uh, wrong way in a bad mm -hmm. way and uh, that's it so and this is what happens very often in the western world you say now. yes of course if you look to, really to, to cities like new york when you just have a look what happens there over lunchtime when people are running out and just shit it's uh, yeah shit is good because it's really <laughs> a shit it, it's really shit because so there are two kind of system of nervous system mm -hmm. of, of course there is central nervous system and there is autonomic nervous mm -hmm. system of this autonomic nervous system there is parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system so two in one sympathetic nervous system is the one of before when you are stressed okay it's fight or flight Parasympathetic nervous system is quite like rest and digest. Mm -hmm. When we fight, when we fly, we fight and fly when we are in danger, when we do sport, when we are working, we are fighting, something like that, because it's, uh, you know, it's stressful. And when we instead activate parasympathetic nervous system, when we sleep, when we eat, okay, when we make love, everything that it's, uh, it's, uh, make you calm, make you quiet, make you feel good, mm -hmm. okay? Make your heart beat slower, mm -hmm. except love with them, make your heart uh, high, but it's, it's a different kind of stuff. Anyway, it's parasympathetic. So, uh, parasympathetic nervous system, in this case, is when you eat. The mm -hmm. problem is that most of people, when eat, they're thinking about other kind of things. So think about work, think about what I'm going to do in one hour, think about, oh my God, I took a fine, it's, Something more, you have to be focused on your food. Oh, if, this reminds me so much of what, yeah, when I, I am very, like, have a lot of things to do, a lot of work. I take it to the table where I'm eating, and I'm not with eating. No, that then. is not. I'm just, that, like, with thinking exactly what you said. This is mindful eating. It's for that, that mm. right now there are mindful eating coaches mm. that they have to teach you how to eat. Oh, yeah, I had a beautiful guest here in the show. Who was ah, exactly really? talking ah, about okay, yes. when it yeah, comes to you eating. You told me, you told me yeah, yesterday. Exactly. Yeah, this is so important. Why? Yeah. Because... When we are eating, of course, it's a holy moment for you, for yourself, for your body, because it's who you are. Mm -hmm. What you eat is who you are, because then the food will become yourself. And then it's important because if you're not focused on the food, you start to bite less well, so you not, are not going to bite really the food. And so if you're not focused about that, you will not produce acid from your stomach, you will not contract your gut, so there will be maldigestion in that mm -hmm. case. And then you will complain because you feel like full, bloated, you feel like um, you didn't digest very well, and then problem with your gut, and so on, so on, so on. Gastric reflux and something like that. So if we keep attention about this, about our autonomic nervous system, so balance about that, it will change our life for real. Mm -hmm. So we should, we should. And this is part of stress management that start, of course, in the morning, but finish in the evening. And in the middle, there is our behavior with the food. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's for that. It plays an important role, right? So let me just go back to what you just said. It's like we have to live in balance with those two systems, right? Yeah, of course. We have to, to go into this relaxation mode. Yeah. And then we have to go to this active mode and... You just said, like, that is also my observation. In the Western world, people forgot about that relaxation mode. You yeah. can find it very much more often in the Eastern part, where we are right now. And you know as well, because you have been living abroad for a long time. So you can compare those systems. Also because you used to live in California. Yeah. So you know also about uh, the U.S. habits there. Um, why would you say is it, despite the health industry became so important and massive and... Is, is, is a huge economic pillar in the world. Why was it not um, taught in a way to the people? Because it sounds so simple, right? To find that balance. It's so simple. Why do people take pills and run to, run to doctors? And a lot of the doctors, that's at least is my impression, they 
how to say, instead of saying, you have to lose maybe some weight or you should take it really like easy, slow down, um, they go for the more complicated way of prescription, etc. Yeah. So mm, I think that the problem is at the root of the mm -hmm. system in this case because if you don't, uh, uh, so if you don't do what you preach, mm -hmm. it's difficult. So if you don't do what you preach, preach, mm -hmm. yeah. So you mean like the doctors themselves, the health industry itself. So mm -hmm. most of times, doctor mm -hmm. are sixty years, uh, sixty years old. <laughs> okay, the value like this, yes. insulin resistant more than the patients sometimes. So you know, it's difficult. Then one will say to you, yeah, go outside, take the sun, relax, meditate, because they mm. don't do this mm. and this is a big problem mm. okay because you you advise what you used to do mm. if you don't do like that it's difficult so right now we i hope i hope with all my soul that the future of the of the medicine of the physicians because the um is this is new physicians in in, in the case i hope that they take care of patients about nutrition, so with nutrition, with spiritual management, in that case, with sport, and then at the end, with medicines. Mm. Because that's the rule. So I, that the medicine comes at the very end of the letter. So to, to, to this, start Everything is medicine. Soft... Functional medicine is all. Uh, yeah, okay. Functional okay. medicine is how you, you eat. This... Hippocrates yeah, told totally that. Correct. It was a lot of years ago, yeah, okay? Yeah. Uh, in Italian, it's yeah. fai che la medicina sia il tuo cibo. Ah, ma che bellissima è questa lingua. Fai sì che la medicina sia il tuo cibo e il tuo cibo la tua medicina. Mm -hmm. So be the medicine, be your... What is? Uh, be your food and your food your medicine. Okay, it's about that. Uh, so it's really important. This is functional medicine, okay? Stress management with spirit, with uh, with meditation and supplementation, of course, and exercise. That's the real medicine, of course, for sure. And then, yeah, the pill is the last. When you wasn't able to resolve a pathology in this case or a state where there was alteration with exercise, nutrition, supplement, meditation, then you can give medicine. Mm. But is the so as last. a kind of ultima ratio? Ultima ratio, yes. Mm. For my, my experience, my personal experience, but I think it's mm. the experience of a lot of people mm. in the health industry and was like that. So it's more about prevention, okay? So prevention first, then heal something. Mm. So this is about that. The root cause, the root cause of why you are in that situation with your body, with your mind, so the root. Mm -hmm. So not to heal the symptoms, mm -hmm. but to go, mm -hmm. you know. So you just mentioned, like, of course, it's important to exercise and the right nutrition is important as well. And then you said the stress reduction, the stress management. You as an expert and you have clients you are helping. Um, what would be like your three major ideas on how you can reduce stress, maybe even when you are not yet aware of how stressed you are, right? So where to start? What would be your three ideas here? Where to start? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that people that are most stressed are people who are not able to sleep well. Ah, so you think you uh, one can measure it, of course, when I'm sleeping ah, you mean, not easily in or when I wake up at night. So um, people understand that when they sleep, when they start to sleep, they feel they want to go back to bed. To, to, it, 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 it's something about it there. No, okay, come on, I won't go back. Uh, I don't feel I am so, so mm, my mind is foggy when you wake up and this happened and this happened. And uh, so, for example, most of people say, I sleep five hours, I feel okay. But you don't know how okay you are if you didn't know when you, when you was good. So it's, it's difficult to know that, mm -hmm. okay? It's difficult. You can say, because if you, if you lived in a, 
um, how can I explain? It's not easy to explain that. So because oh, but I would like to know because like you said like okay, I'm sleeping. So how do I want? How do I really know in the morning whether I have slept well or not? For me, it was like so if you never, I was waking if, if, up if, if and I was get out of bed and I if you never afraid. slept really well, it's difficult for you. I mean, like you. never slept. If you never slept really well, it's difficult. Ah, it's difficult to you to know mark, if you right? had slept well. Okay. Mm. So because if I slept all my life five hours, I say okay, it's perfect. It's okay. I feel good, but. You never try to sleep really eight or six or seven hours, so you can't understand how is your well-being mm -hmm. after slept eight hours, for mm -hmm. example. So uh, that's a point. Mm -hmm. That's a real point. But how do I find out what is the right um, sleep amount then for me? So it's about uh, the quality. So first of all, uh, so we're talking about Western society, okay, mm -hmm. of course. And uh, so, for example, do you put the alarm? No, I wake up when the sun rises. Okay, perfect. Day. Okay, this is perfect because when the sun oh. when the sun rises, it's perfect for you. It's it's a oh, normal. Sometimes I, I wish I would be a long sleeper. Honestly, like I have friends who can sleep in until ten, and I say, oh, because I always wake up with the first light in the morning. It's it's a perfect awakening every way with the sun. You can you can try to close all window or close the. Gives the, me fifteen minutes. 15 only? Okay. okay, it's perfect. Okay, so it's it's natural for you to wake up at that time. So what is better, to have a natural wake up like this? Perfect natural to... wake up, perfect natural wake up. Another another thing that you can fix is before to go to bed. But the thing is, we all cannot go for dinner then at, light, at late because I have to go to bed so early to get all my sleep. Exactly. So it's another problem. I don't know if you have, but it's LED lights. Do you red, have LED red? lights? Uh, LED, LED, ah, LED. LED, yeah. Um, um, no, I try to put them away an hour before I go to sleep. Okay, this is perfect. So you are okay. And because they're waking to, up the brain. Yeah, too much functions. are blue waves. If you try to use, in fact, the red lights, mm -hmm. would be easier to fall asleep in that case. But of course... What is a red light in that case? What do you mean by red light? Red light, red light is the opposite of blue light in that mm -hmm. case. So blue light activates yourself and drop down the production of melatonin. Red lights push up the production of melatonin. Ah, that's good because the, um, the smartphones, they do have the blue light, right? Exactly. This as is well as the television and... As well computers. as the television. So for so that... put it, them away. Yeah, you should avoid the laptop, you should avoid LED, okay? And the and LED, LED is in Italian. And you should avoid, of course, iPhone and something like that. Okay. okay. So better to fall asleep then with a the red light. And the red light, where can I find that? Do we oh, you can use the salt, well? the, the, the salt light, you know that? The uh, red. Okay, so red I have to get that light. and get and that. Okay. Exactly, get that. So if I, if I have problems falling asleep, this would help to fall asleep? Would help. And will help also. So for example, most of people here in Bali, people eat at 6.30. We are still in Bali. Yeah, we're still in Bali. Six thirty or seven. Uh, it's perfect for a circadian rhythm. It's amazing for the biological rhythm in the case. What is amazing if you? Biological. Yeah, if you have six to seven hours of sleep. No, no. Oh. If you eat at six seven, it's okay. Ah, if you eat at six or seven yeah, in the okay. in the evening. Yeah, it's okay. Ah. Is is better than eat at eight nine in that case because we should eat when the sun is still up or anyway when it's just uh, but the italians down. don't do it italians do at night ah, this is a problem of the western this society this is a real problem this is the real problem this is a question of a problem this is the problem of western society okay so um i learned now you should better eat when the sun is still out of course and this has to do because the body has also its, its own clock Exactly, it's a bi biological clock, biological mm -hmm. rhythm in the case, mm -hmm. and it's so important to keep this synchronization, this okay. synchronicity. And when should I get breakfast and lunch? So breakfast in the case, you the best thing is to wait a little. So you wake up, you don't have to have breakfast. Uh, so uh, right, uh, right the moment you wake up, but it's the the best thing is to wait half an hour. Because when we wake up, you have a lot of cortisol, mm -hmm. so your body is stressed because you are changing environment from the dream, okay, yes, to your body. So the body is stressed after I've woken up because... It's stressed because when you wake up in the, in the ancient time, mm -hmm. you wake up and you have to run ah. to, you know, yeah, exactly. You didn't know who was around, what kind of lion or tribe it, or whatever. 
But no, it's it's because so a long time ago when we woke up it was to take food. We were we we, we had to run to take food. Mm. Things about ten thousand years ago. We had to always catch Cacciare. We always have to catch to go and catch, catch yeah, go and go and catch food, but ten thousand years shoes. ago was about that. <laughs> So it was not about also zebra, <laughs> also the mammoth, so for example, was, zebra. <laughs> so it was not because of the danger somewhere of some lion coming. It was more about okay, now the work starts. I have to go out. And you have to go it. to take food. Okay, so I learned we have to have certain schedules best to take when it comes to when to eat. Um, and if I might come back because this is where we had made the point before. How do I now figure out whether I have slept really very well? You said okay, it's good to avoid the blue light, to have more red light, to wake up when actually the sun gets up, to eat before the sun goes down. But you, when you, I never you can, have you, slept... You can, measure, you, you can measure that with HRV. Hmm. With HRV. It's, uh, it's quite like... could be a ring, could be a bracelet, could be... Ah, so you, you need external hair. help for that. Yeah, yeah it's a, if you want really to know if... External health, but is there not a kind of biometric? Anyway, you where feel. Anyway, you feel. Feeling, you right? When I wake up and I don't need to go to bed again. Yeah, exactly. This so is easy like this, right? It, it's easy. It it's easy, but some people uh, don't have the control of their body, so sometimes. Because uh, I'm a believer, we should all get back our control instead of giving them to some watches or yeah, so, electronics. So for you, this case is perfect. <laughs> you don't, you, you're not using LED, uh, it's okay. okay. You, you go to bed when you want to go to bed, uh, it's okay. Yeah. You eat at six or seven, uh, it's okay. You wake up with the sunlight, uh, it's amazing in your case. <laughs> no problems. Oh. You're doing, so, so even sleeping good is one, one way to reduce stress in life. So what were the other two examples, people, where you would say, um, guys in the Western world look on that point, maybe you can improve that that aspect. With other points in this case, so other points after sleep. Yes. So uh, no, we, to reduce the stress, the no, general no, stress. We level. we already we already we already told about that about the mindful eating. It's another mindful eating is the second thing. Okay, second very thing. good point. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And then we can we can put three points: meditation. Ah, the meditation. Yeah, it's meditation. I think. Yeah, because in this kind of stuff, so your your life, it's about wake up, go to work, go back home, in the middle you eat, then go to sleep. Most of this. It's, and then, of course, there is the workout and could be good, but it's stressful sometimes. Because in a normal life for Western people, you wake up, you have to work, and then sometimes you have to work out too, and sometimes work out gym, uh, swim, uh, run or something like that. Sometimes it's stressful and sometimes it's not so good to do that if your job takes you too many hours of your day. Mm -hmm. So there is, there are no moments for you if you continue to work a lot and something like this. So it's important to Take your time for yourself. No, oh, take and your time for yourself. If I may just say that, because I used to work in investment banking and um, now an M&A, merger acquisition, and this is a very busy, busy work uh, atmosphere. Yeah, and, and very competing. It... And this is what you said, you have to remind yourself to take some time off, because this is what I did not do for a couple of years. I was just in a hamster wheel. I was running and working and running and working. Yeah, is that? And there was not even, even if you don't believe it, but there was not even time to pee to just find a restroom. Yeah, and sometimes. And it was just like, go. for a couple, <laughs> for a couple of years. I mean, I was still young and innocent. I could do it, but you could feel at a certain point that you you do not do some good to your body. Um, and it's true. Yeah, I could, because um, maybe I, you know I'm doing a lot of arts as well, and I didn't even find time to do art. And this was the moment where I realized the balance is not there. So I need to find and integrate more balance. And funny enough, it all works. It's just like my key aspect was I need to give allowance to myself to take the time. Yeah, yeah? It's, that, it's, it's so that. easy as this. It's there that. is no one there who says to you do this like 20 hours a day. It's just your own mind who is playing with it. It's true. And it's, it's like you just have to understand the importance and then you just have to act. Just do it. And then it's fine and you can manage all and even better, right? Isn't it like, I have a question. 
voice, oh, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Come on, we are here for that. <laughs> Isn't it like, um, I, for me, it's like this. If I have time off, which I really enjoy taking, I, I need a lot of me time and I need a lot of time off from work. When I work, I really work. I'm very dedicated. Yeah. But when I'm off and I'm doing like nothing, I'm allowing space in my life. It's unbelievable what kind of creativity mm. afterwards comes. You know what I mean? Like, um, I can really feel like a flow of creativity coming when I took time out without having my mind occupied. I do not do creativity games or something like this. I just sit on the top of a mountain or something, you know? Or just like on a stand-up paddle, nothing. How, how do you express your creativity? And this is, uh, I tell you then privately. Ah, okay, privately. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> I paint my body naked, yeah, I do like that. <laughs> so, but the question would be, how is it that you have also that your brain needs that break to you? function better this is my understanding because you need creativity not only to do art oh, but also for business yeah to yeah, find creative solution so why is your brain when you give it a break working better so we have two parts of you, our brain you know that it's the right lobe and the left lobe oh. so women are we say right dominant mm -hmm. men are left dominant left part of the brain is rational part of the brain logical part of the brain <laughs> pragmatic part of the brain is the boring part of the brain you know mm -hmm. but woman has more in the case it's i i make it this simple but it's not simple okay uh, pretend it's simple but it's not more right parts so more creativity more intuition it's everything about love passion and everything about that and so in the right part there is what we call emotional intelligence it's a kind of intelligence you can't measure this with a qe test with intelligence quotient test you can't measure that it's something that made us more human than we are this kind not the rational not the logical but this kind of intelligence and we need that so this is the reason why if you take a woman inside a workspace okay so if there are only men it's a problem because they start to complain each other to fight or something like that you put a woman it would be amazing because start to be creative everything more creative everything take more sense a different painting okay yeah, because woman is is love is creativity is intuition is what we need in this world right now uh, can i not just go in yeah because now we have the, the the woman and the man right and i would rather say it's the female and the masculine energy like because i can see so many men who have that kind the same things you know but they are men not yeah. women you know what i mean yeah, it's true, it's true, but every, everybody has every kind of energy, it's quite like yin and yang is inside yeah. us. So, so we are we female agree. and male, you are male, we are female and male too, so it's the mm -hmm. same. The problem is to accept this kind of energy and you have to, it's the reason why a lot of males are scared of homosexual, homosexual people, because they don't want to, they, they first don't want to accept the, the female side of them. But we have no, this is a very it's good reasoning. So they, they, they decline even their inner because I think sometimes they say 20 to 30 percent of population is attracted to other men. Men are attracted to other men, but they would never dare being homosexual, right? Yes. Uh, and explore it, that it, adventure. Is that to explore mm -hmm. because sometimes in some period of your life you have more expression of your female side. It mm -hmm. happens. It's, and so you say it's because it's they normal. don't accept their inner female parts they don't why but this the problem is from the root of our society so it's about school say be coherent reasonate logical uh, hear male hear female this is a problem so you grow yes, up with this, uh, you grow argument. up with this mask yes. so it's life is, is quite like that you grow up okay you 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 you, you born Everything is amazing. You smile for nothing. You want to touch everything. You you kiss everybody. It's everything amazing. You want to cry, you cry. You want to love, you love. It's everything. You want to go there, you go there. You want to do like this, you do like this. Okay? <laughs> if you are a baby, it's amazing. Okay? But until seven years old. If you do later, they, they told you are schizophrenic and psychotic and go to the clinic. Take this medicine. Okay? After seven years old, you start to become less clever because you start to go to, to school. Come on. Yeah. Yes, this one, this. It's a, 
till 18, 20, 25. After that, the problem is that, so you are like, your real you is this, okay, for example, this is your real you, you start to go to school, your real you is bigger, okay, but full of shit, full of shit, because they, they, it's, <laughs> they cover, the microphone. He's playing they with cover, the microphone. yeah, because they cover you with this kind of shit, and after 25 years old, if you open your eyes and you understand that you are not only body and mind, but also soul, also love, also spirit, also diamond, also all this kind of stuff that are part of your vocation mm -hmm. that exists, okay? Look for Ananke and the other kind of stuff and diamond, Hillman, that do the, the uh, an amazing book. Uh, the source code, amazing book. And uh, when you understand it, you start to, to, you start your path, okay, to bring all that shit away and found your real you. And uh, this make all, this make all the difference of, of the world uh, is for that and meditation and mantra chanting, everything about that must take a big part in our life, in our it should so that we can see ourselves more clearly. The essence, right? This of is what course, you mean. Because, yeah. So that we are not afraid when being a man, not afraid from our of yeah. our female side, so that we can yeah. surrender everything. Man, we are afraid of us. express ourselves mm. and talk when we want to talk. We are all scared about nothing. We don't know why. There is a lot of a lot of block of this mm. kind. This chakra is called Vishuddha. Chakra of speaking, chakra of express ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're scared about that. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to. This is, I think, the chakra of the fifth is to speak up. That's what you mean? Yeah, this one. Yeah. If you some exercises to chant, yeah. chant help you a lot. Talk, go in front of a mirror, start to talk, talk with you, with yourself, set your intention, say that loudly, loudly. So important. Scream. It's, it's so good. you would suggest to open that chakra here, to speak up, to also see then your own truth maybe, is to stand in front of a mirror, have an intention and speak out that yeah, intention. exactly. What was the last intention you spoke out that you would like to share here? My last intention was, uh, in while uh, I did the yoga teacher training, it was to become a, a teacher, a yoga teacher. So, and how was your intention like, I become a yoga teacher? It was like a final result. I, I will become a I yoga teacher. I will become a yoga teacher. Yeah. And it helped you on a one as well. On yeah, addition, so, on yes. this long happened, list of happened, education and training. Happened after one week, they told, okay, Ivan, uh, we want you to do some, uh, uh, some uh, lessons about nutrition because we like you. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy. Okay, so we recap. There is a lot we can do to reduce our daily stress, our daily stress mode. And this helps also then for us feeling better in our bodies. I think you mentioned that the mind is very important. You mentioned also the importance of meditation. Um, our first talk was with Meditation Dave, an amazing talk about meditation, I have to say. Um, what I would now like to know is like, um, when we do all that, uh, what what will be the final result like if you said like to discover ourselves on the, to go on this journey to reveal to release what society has 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 given to us and then at the end what are we then are we then finally home are we the higher self have we become the better version of ourselves is this maybe even then the aim or the target of our life so I think that after you start to discover that there is more mm -hmm. uh, about what they want to let you see, mm -hmm. okay? Every day you start to become better and better and better. And uh, that's it. It's anyway a personal journey. Mm -hmm. I like so, it. 
and it's I, not the and same I, because it's, it's not it's not the same for everybody because you know everybody have a fixed vocation yeah. so it depends about your really voca your real vocation yeah. what it is. I want to say also yeah it's sorry it's not my it's not my vocation but, but I, yes, so, yeah, yeah. what I would love to say is like I think even it's the responsibility of each of us to go on the journey. I can't just say that I so like what you said and I think it's so important for each of us, right, to find out what is the inner essence instead is of just one? saying is that. that because a lot of people are not aware of why they are acting, after which pattern they are acting, which fearful thoughts they are having, which maybe are not even theirs, but they're just taking it, right? So having found yourself, you're not yet 30 years old, right? 29, yeah. Hmm. So, 28, <laughs> 29, 17 of May. What we, okay, we all send birthday greetings so, to yeah, you. So what would you say, now you, you have apparently... Mm, already started that journey you have found yourself at least partly because i, I personally think to found yourself fully is is a lot no, right fully fully, fully is think. like wow so it's quite what like would you say? with beatrix to you find yourself at the end <laughs> of the journey so it's because it's not linear so it's quite like souls it's not linear the path mm -hmm. so it's not that you yeah you grow up you but it's not like this because sometimes Okay, let's let's see linear like this, not like this. It's not like everything straight upon it's all amazing. No, it's like this, then you fall, then try a little, then you fall, then you fall again, because you have to redo that yeah. kind of circle again and again and again to find the way to enlightenment in, in that case. Enlightenment is when you enter in contact with your real self. And it's not easy for us, for male, it's not easy because our soul is in our unconsciousness. In female, it's easier because in female, the soul, soul what is soul in the case? It's, it's love, it's uh, intuition, it's uh, madness, it's crazy, it's uh, the witch side of you <laughs> is in the conscious, is in, in the conscious part of the brain. Different so it's for that is Dante okay, and Beatrix. So Dante, Dante and Beatrix, okay? Virgilio is the man, okay? Virgilio lead Dante in the hell to teach him something. And then when Dante goes to paradise, there is Beatrix. Beatrix is, is, is already there because she doesn't like it because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. It's about that. And you need a woman too. Mm -hmm. And the woman could be a woman, stay mm -hmm. close to me, but also the female side. Mm -hmm. It's for that that we have to recognize that side mm -hmm. to a light. If we don't recognize that we are also female, that we are yin and yang, that we are mind, body and soul female. Love and psyche is mm -hmm. another myth mm -hmm. in mythology, Greek mythology. Psyche, that is psycho in the case. Psycho, the real meaning is soul. Soul. Siga was a woman. It's about that. See? It's everything about that. No, and it's, clear. Uh, uh, it's so funny. It's, it's so clear. Come on. So, uh, I don't remember the question. I go to the next one because um, we have Victoria. She's waiting for us for having dinner together. She's your beautiful girl girlfriend. Like, you're like one of the cutest couples I know. <laughs> to what extent? No, really. Well, uh, she's amazing. Long blonde hair. Really sweet. Smart as well. And you are sharing the passion for making people become healthier. Yeah. So I would like to know, like seeing you as a couple, to what extent was it helping you to then find yourself? Because like being in a relationship is like really challenging because you're, you're faced with so much. I mean, of course, you can be with a person you are not so much emotionally involved, then it's easier because he's not mirroring you so much, right? He's not triggering you so much. But when you're like loving and having deeper emotions, you are easily hurt when you allowed it to be with a person that can easily hurt you. So would you then say being with Victoria has helped you on that journey? And if yes, to what extent? So, uh, this is a this good is question. A very... <laughs> you don't need to answer. No, 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 it's, it's really good. Personal. So Victoria was, I think was, okay. Victoria was part of my destiny for sure. Mm -hmm. Because my awakening started since I met Victoria again, and we, after a couple of weeks that were together, decided to go to California 
and from, from California everything changed. Without Victoria, I would have never, never, of course, gone to California. So you, where did you live before? In Italy. Solo in Italy? Only in Italy, yeah. And now you are so, such an international... Everywhere, yeah. Everywhere, everywhere around. Everywhere. Oh, so you are a local boy. Wherever you go, there we are. <laughs> there you are. There we are. Because there we... <laughs> so you were a local boy in Italy. In Venice. Yes, in Venice. Yes, I did. Uh, no, I, I was a nutritionist. I did nutrition plan. I mm -hmm. practice holistic medicine, functional nutrition, mm -hmm. kinesiology because working in fitness community with bodybuilders too. So well, everything about functional nutrition and uh, yeah, I heal autoimmune disease in Italy. Mm -hmm. I do like this. So I treat psoriasis, uh, people with Crohn, people with retocolitis, with ulcerous retocolitis. I treat bodybuilders that did cycles with anabolic steroid to help them, to cure them. About but then this. came she. Hmm? But then came she, Vittoria. Vittoria, Vittoria did the, same, did the same about nutrition. And right now they... And did you meet her then in Venice? I, I met her in the first time in a conference. Mm -hmm. In a conference uh, four years ago. And then I re meet the, uh, her in the same conference again, and then we start uh, all this 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 journey. This love but journey. the real the real the in this case, uh, the real problem. Mm. The real the pro no, but the real reason why I I'm telling that it was vocation it was destiny it was part of my vocation was Victoria, is that. Thanks to California, because then... Because she wanted to go to California. No, she I wanted to go to California. You wanted to go to California. Yeah, it happened that the, her boss wanted to go to California and told to us, ah, you know, I go to California to do this master in peptides. I, I started to, oh, okay, I want to come too. Victoria, let's come with us. Ah, yes, of course. Started to February till 21 February, sorry, from 21 Feb February Till the third of March was the 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 staying there. Third of March, COVID. But we were in California, ah, and so we decided to stay. And everything, everything started. Everything started. started. Okay. Everything started. Then little Italy, and then again in Bali. So Victoria is my Beatrix. Mm -hmm. Beatrice is Victoria is my Beatrix. That started to Beatrix and Virgilio for sure because started to initiate initiate me in this journey with myself so she was also helping you she was a catalysator of your life journey of can course that, right? of course of course and tell me like now it's clear from the large path but when it comes also to like ah is she also challenging your inner parts your inner traits like things where you have said i am not like this and now when you're together with her you can see oh yes there's a shadow i have to look at that so yeah. Is she cleaning this part of your body, your inner parts up as well? So I think that. So uh, you mean before like a mirror, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So when we fall in love with someone else, it's because we see ourselves, and she's like a mirror that show to us our shadow. So it's true for little our shadow, but also ourself. But I think that for real, the real love proof in the case is to recognize. Is to because you said we fall in love. I'm just still with that thought because we fall in love with the shadow we see in the mirror. I, is it like this, or do we fall in love because we project something on the other one, like something either we wanna have as well because the other one has a trait we wanna be like the same. As the other one is, or so he's triggering what, us and you're hurt and you want to get healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you fall in love, so you fall in love, okay, yeah. and then you love. After one, two years, you start to I love. agree. Okay, this is I different. agree. It's not the same yes, thing. I okay? agree. Love is madness, okay? You fall in love because you you feel your madness in other. Yes, no. Okay, and then you fall in love. Yeah. And you understand really nothing in the period. But isn't it a beautiful thing? It's thing. a beautiful it's crazy, thing. Right? It's, oh. But it's so easy because you let it go. It's, yes. it's so easy. Okay, so perfect. So, yeah, man. And then you can just yeah. think of him. Man, just get down. It's okay. 
just dance. It's okay. It's, it's, this. it's, this. it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it, it's something like that. So it's so easy to fall in love because you, you, you yeah, let it go. You let it be. Let it go. Love, oh my God, love is so difficult because you have to, uh, you have to keep on find or try to find the secret inside that person mm -hmm. and it's a problem because to get this be real or be effective in your, your your person you have to keep to fall in love with the secret keeping fall in love with the secret means that you don't own these people this person you don't own them because in the case Victoria has her own personalities it's not mine she's not mine okay she's of her she's different I'm falling in love with that kind of diversity that she has like different person mm -hmm. and she will never be mine mm -hmm. and this is something that yeah you want but you will never have Okay, because you will never have, oh, yeah, and this is the secret that you can that. only you can only touch, but you can grab. You can only touch, you can't grab. Yeah. You can't grab, and this is it. I, I would even say you shouldn't, right? Because if you try to, no, you shouldn't. No, in fact, you have to keep some secret yeah. in a relationship. Because ah, is that the is that the secret? Yes, I just thought about also some 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 release in a way like if you're too possessive, it only harms a relationship. This is and the, you talk now about having, that, yeah, that's no, no, no. And you talk about having is, secrets is, in yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. Ah, mm. Poss exactly. Possessiveness is the so, fall of love. It's the fail of love. Mm -hmm. When love fail, when you want the possess of that person. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. Because you have to keep the secret. Mm -hmm. And who want to possess a person is not interested to keep the secret of that soul. Especially if she is a woman. What do you mean by keep the secret? This I didn't understand. Keep the secret that should be something that you can't grab. Uh, so she... Okay, so every time something uh, that is is so not what you is not mean yours, like is, it's only of her. If you if 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 you would be too comfy in knowing that she is yours, is that this one. what you mean? Is that one? But this is like She's hunting then. It is. It, Jesus. Come on, this it's is like hunting. Continuously. continuously. I thought that generation has stopped already. No, it's, 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 it's continuous. It's, it's a con love. I it's thought a it continue was hunt. like bigger it's concepts. Like, it's a like, continue like hunt. Like having like because when you, distance is important because when, in a relationship when you have, no, and having your own secrets. That's different. No, because you, you talk about hunting. Yeah, but no, you, you, have to, you have to be close to your partner, I think, because this is biology in that case. So you, if you... 10,000 years ago, you can't fall in love with someone who stayed 10,000 kilometers from you. Now they try to, but then they, they, they go with other guys and other girls respectively. So right now it's not easy. It's quite normal. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Okay. But because you met before for real. Okay. But then keep the contact. So we live because we socialize with people close to us. Mm. So what you say is like your recommendation would be to keep the seed of secret so that you are yeah. always like attractive because you are non controllable for your partner. You have a space on your own. You yeah, have a space. Exactly. Okay. We want to keep the secret. This is the rewarding. So what is the rewarding? Rewarding is gratification. Yes, but what's something. the what the rewarding? Why are you rewarding? Why? For example, now if 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 I tell you, yeah. Okay. Pretend that I'm your boyfriend, okay, okay, pretend, I, I will be your, pretend that you like me, okay, something like that, and I'm going to tell you, okay, perfect, in half an hour, we're going to have sex, okay, this half an hour will be so fucking rewarding for you, we will produce a lot of documents and say, oh my god, yeah, I'm looking forward to do that, so it's the moment, till, till the action, till the happening, and it's so grateful for you. It's so great. So you're waiting, but it's during. It's the mom. Is 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 while you're getting through this. That and you mean like the happen. tension because you have like this pre joy. Also, you know what might happen. Or you, you know what in, will happen. When you love, case, you when you love, happen. you have to keep this tension. You have to keep tension. the tension. You have to keep the tension. If uh, so, how do you keep the attention between you, you and Victoria? 
you can't show all yourself off. You cannot. You cannot. You can't. So which percent? I mean, as we said before, I don't I know the percent. I'm not a philosophical people. Yes, one, so it's I love numbers. So I, 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 I hate that. Okay, it's logical, rational. It's many kinds. Of, I can no, 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 no. Numbers. But are tell me, like, um, just before, just before we said, like, it's very difficult even to know yourself fully. I would say, right? We can try to get to our essence. I mean, knowing yourself. I mean, I would not put my for head into my fire. For no, male, even for me, like a woman. For male is difficult. But also for me as a woman, right? Yes, it's no. It's one. very difficult. I, I doubt. I really know myself one hundred percent. I mean, give me some situations. I can say how I would love to react. But if I would be in this situation, how the hell do I know whether I will really like the act, uh, act as I tell you right now? I have no clue, right? Mm -hmm. So to what extent do I really know myself? Huh? I would love to say 100%, My but it's not true. Fight. So you say, coming back, um, you say now, it's, it's, it's smart to have that space of secret in a relationship because it keeps the tension a little mm -hmm. high, right? So to what extent would you say, Victoria, then knows you. How much of your personality that you know yourself uh, have you disclosed to her? Percentage. I think, uh, what about, so what percent I know of her or her know of me? Both. So I think that probably I'm going to keep secret a 20%. And now I would like you to disclose one of those secret bullets. Is there anything you can share? You, I think you knew that question had to come now. Yeah, I, I think it's about so. What is it like? Is it like? Um, so I never love what she cooks. Cooks? Cooks. Prepare meals. Yeah. No, I, I didn't understand before. Is it something like? Um, one of the things I don't disclose to her is to tell her I do not like when she cooks. But she never cooks to me, ah. so it's... Um, <laughs> we, we don't have a kitchen, so it's impossible. <laughs> no, I think it's about something... Uh, about probably sexual perversion... Perversion? Oh, there is an emotion. I would even say maybe blockage. No, I don't have blockage, but something could be something that... We could try together with other people, okay? Probably there is this this little I, I never did in my life, but probably it's something that I feel like curious to, to, to try. So it's something about sexuality, of course. This goes live after, okay? We cannot cut. Uh, it's okay, no okay. problem. And um, so you say like making love, uh, having sex because there's a difference, whatever. But more than two people together. Yeah, exactly. About that. Mm -hmm. Probably there is. I, and but, most probably but, the third person I, I, should be I, I, one, think, right? I think that this is something. Um, I think that this is something that it's strange also for myself that I'm going to mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. right now. In it's a little time that I start to consolidate mm -hmm. something like that. And I'm still consolidating that. So it's something new also for me. Uh, we probably are discovered that together. Uh, another side of me, it's my impulsive side. Uh, I, uh, I, I was. Oh yeah, I, I remember like when we did the intro. Oh, let me take over the microphone. I explain myself who I yeah, am. Yeah, th this is, this is. Uh, I have to keep that sometimes secret. And uh, for now, it is, mm, uh, I never show off that. Okay, but probably in the future. But, but it's a good way that you I want to keep aware this of that. Yeah, really it's cool. of course I am. But and also we can say that to sexuality, I think there's a lot of shaming around. So I'm very happy that you mentioned that point I because see. I think like it's it's a lot is happening about um, in that it's there are so many histories and stories and um, things happening and people barely speak about it, neither their wishes or their dreams. Or what they even dislike or like. Um, so I personally would say it's good to have more honesty here, but I think it requires a lot of what is this? The fifth we chakra. The we should up chakra, right? Uh, we should and there is also Muladhara Svadhisthana in that case. Svadhisthana is the second chakra, it's about sexuality and uh, mm. 
we should be more aware about our sexuality and I think that problems are more about male than females females have problems too sometimes but male a lot because the the mad side <coughs> they use in the bed I'm sorry <coughs> the mad side they use the bed it's a female side I didn't this I didn't understand the female the side mad, is what? the mad, mad side Madness. madness. Ah, the madness. The mad side. Is it the, when you want to be. Ah, like if you go out of your body, if you are in ecstasy. Yeah, that is. This is more female than masculine. <clears throat> more female. And sometimes uh, uh, mm -hmm. men are not able to. express to, yourself. Yeah, men are not able to let it go. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. And uh, uh, so letting go, I think this is a very important word when it comes to sexuality, yeah, right? It's the first thing that you have and to do. And sensuality. Yeah. And loving kindness and so much more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sexuality, erotism. Okay. It's about it's everything about creative side of brain. So everything about the right side of brain. Yeah, it's a female side of brain. So I think that this is probably more a train mm -hmm. for male. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. I jump in with a question: Is um, sexuality also reducing? Um, the stress level, like release. Yeah, of course, come on. Yeah. To what extent is it for a woman a release, and to what extent is it for <clears throat> a man a release? So. Um, and. Yeah, you know, no, if no, I no. make continue, the, 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 is it then more release for a man, or is it better to keep it? So, uh, really. Uh, I don't know. I think anyway, it's uh, uh, it's mandatory. We can for... skip that question. No, also. no, no, no. It's not for because it's not e so. It's no. It's not. It's mandatory for both. Uh, when you have sex, independently about if you are male or female, you start to produce a serotonin. You start to produce oxytocin. You start to produce dopamine. Okay. All oh, those hormones, amazing. Uh, um, neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. neurotransmitters yeah. in the brain, and it's perfect for rewarding. It lower your cortisol, so it's perfect for stress management. Uh, you start to feel more, uh, you know, you start to be more selfish. Not, not selfish, sorry. Um, I, I don't have the word in English. Um, what do you want to say? Uh, but you did, um, mm, I neither have the word in Italian, so I will not say that. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, no, okay. Yeah, sometimes happen when you talk for no. Yeah, fifth fifth chakra. No, it's not about that. I think it's more about this. Yeah, yeah, okay. anyway. So anyway, uh, it's important. It's so important for stress management and also for parasympathetic nervous system. So there is a balance in autonomic nervous system, um, self rewarding and so on. I. I don't know for who is more important because, for example, for women, it's important to be cuddled for be loved. Women understand when a man love her and when a man not love her and want, want only sex. Women can. But don't you think like women? There women, women. No, no. Women, women can understand. Women can understand. Women yeah. can understand Oops. more this. Women can understand more this. Ah, and and now you know why. Yeah. Because it's everything about neurotransmitter that I told before that is called oxytocin. Mm -hmm. When so oxytocin is really about uh, rewarding. When you produce a lot of oxytocin, oxytocin, you produce also dopamine, and you are rewarded about, about what you did. Okay, what you just did. So, in men, only thinking about their sex produce a lot of oxytocin, and when they have sex, they are so 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 happy about this, so rewarded, so there is a lot of gratification, and they produce that. The same amount of oxytocin for a woman can be produced only cuddling her, only touching her, only sending her love, mm. when a woman feels safe in that environment. Mm. So for All this I know. For women it could be enough only <laughs> Uh, embrace her, kiss her, say I love you, that's enough. This is such a key, I mean, if all of you men it's out okay. there would it's know okay. that, it's are you, such a are you key will to produce, a woman, right? And you will produce a lot of oxytocin about that. Yeah, More true. woman than man. <laughs> and this is a neurobiological difference, 
It's true. It, I, I didn't. But again, we're talking nothing. now again in this man and woman category. Fuck, self, self confidence. When you have love, you have more self confidence. Sorry. Ah, this was was the that the word out before? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now we got it. And I would just like to put in, like, I wouldn't say it in the category man and woman because I know a lot of men who also love to cuddle, but they have like the strong female part within them. You know what I mean? So I would rather relate to the female and the male energy. You know what I mean? Rather than to the gender. No, I didn't understand. Just a repeat. So because you in said Italian, something. Italian. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> My Italian is not so good. So I would just say, like you said, it's a man and this, um, this is the trait of a man and this is the trait of a woman. Mm. And this happens within a woman and this happens within a man. Yeah, I, I, I said the difference, yeah. Yes, and I would say I would rather relate it to the female and male energy. Because I think there are also a lot of men out there who have those qualities that you would typically address to women. Ah, ah okay, yes. Yes, 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 okay. of course, of course. So, of course, I say now, statistically speaking, mm -hmm. of course, we are not all the same. But I think that, of mm -hmm. course, if there is a man, for example, yeah, a man who um, is able to share with others also his female part, mm -hmm. probably the response, in this case, neurohormonal response, would be the same of a woman. Yeah. Ah, see? See? I, I think quite, yes. Luckily, you touched that. Three more questions and then we are, have to stop because I have a look at the watch here and it's like, wow, we are talking and talking and talking for and talking many, and talking. many hours. So, oh, not yet one hour, but I think soon. So let's get to, yes, nutrition. What are your, what is your biggest favorite idea on nutrition you would like to share? Like, what is the key thing to uplift your nutrition? Mm. It's easy, it's so easy. I, Sorry, I don't want to easy talk. Question. Yeah, yeah, too easy. No, it's not easy, it's too difficult anyway. So, for sure, I, I can't talk about macronutrients because we've been too difficult about that because it's, 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 it's bad. So, if you want to, to synthesize everything, okay, you want to get leaner, so less fat, do more meals during the day every two three hours okay perfect the first meal do after 30 minutes after wake up because you have after 30 minutes you have less cortisol and you are less insulin resistant the last meal do before or un or before the, the arrival of the sunset so before sunset perfect what to eat in the middle so in every meal little protein little carbs little fat and so on like this. So you have to put every in every meal some proteins and then decide if you want to put or fat or carbs. Mm. Only about that. Only what's, about that. Thank you so much. What you what's your book recommendation when it comes to stress management? What would you say this is a book? Um, have a look. You have not yet written a book about that, right? I wrote a book about peptides and anti-aging in, in, in the anti-aging therapy. And uh, no, didn't wrote a book about stress management, but in my book, there are some supplements for stress management that they put, that they put there. But I think the stress management is more about uh, meditation, more about uh, uh, find the best way to sleep. I think more about mindful eating. And is there one book where you can say, this is really worth have a look? Yeah, Robert, Robert Sapolsky. Mm -hmm. We put them in the Why show. zebra doesn't have ultra? Wow. Yeah, that one. It's perfect for stress management. Yeah, mm -hmm. you will learn a lot of stuff. It's seven hundred pages. It's mm -hmm. good. All about neurobiology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the final one. What is your maxim in your life? You like? What is one sentence? One quote? Well, you would say this is how I direct my life towards. So my purpose, my final purpose. Yeah, or more like, like a couple of years I was following this carpe diem. Do you have something similar to that? I, th I think about that and uh, I don't have. Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah. You're flexible. Yeah, I'm flexible. Um, Do you, 
And think about that. It's the first time that someone do a question like this to me. And um, okay, I go I to the have... next one. Is there anything you would like your mother to know about you? This is really the last one. Or something you would like to tell her, but you never said, and you feel like sharing. <laughs> Mama, uh, mama, mama, I'll be able to bring you with me in a magical place far from Italy, in a or island or in any way, never mind where, but there will be the beachfront, ocean front view in front of our house. We will be together and. Uh, I'm sure it will happen soon. I love you. Yeah. In Italiano, boy. Ma che bimbi? No. Mamma, ti porto via con me. Prima o poi ti vengo a prendere e ti porto in un beachfront resort dove vivrai per il resto della tua vita. So good. It's so sweet. Ivan. Grazie mille. Grazie Coco. Grazie. <laughs> Grazie mille. Thank you so much for your time. Oh my god. Wow, this was a long talk and oh, we talk uh, about a lot of stuff. A lot, lot of stuff. stuff. Hope you understand me, guys. My English is not so good. But and my English is not so good no, either. English is good, my not. Yours is good. No. Mine not. Thank you so much for having been with us. Um, I do hope I can see you for the next journey on the Human Project, your podcast. Yeah. And you can find all the information about Ivan in the show notes. Please make sure you subscribe and you review the podcast on Apple iTunes. Keep on shining and see you soon. Yours, Corina Rosa. Bye.